Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to take the two's complement of a number, and that's going to allow us to do subtraction. So let me show you how that works first. I want to subtract hexadecimal F A B C minus 3 6 C D. Well, how am I going to be able to subtract these two? It might work if uh, D was lower than C and I didn't have to like carry over, but what if I had to carry over from something higher order, something over here, and I had to carry over to satisfy, say there was a, uh, well, say I had, for instance, 36 C D, and I was subtracting F A B C. Okay, well, this will work D minus C. Well, that's just going to be 1, and C minus B is again 1, 6 minus A. Well, A is 10 in decimal, so 6 minus A, we're going to have to carry over. So I'll put a 2 here, but remember that 16 now gets transferred over. So 16 plus 6 is 22 minus 10, we'll give it 12, so that'd be a B. Uh, I mean a C, sorry. And alright, now this is a 2 minus an F. Well that just doesn't work, does it? So the 2's complement system really helps us with subtracting two numbers. So first we need to, uh, or I'm just going to show you real quick. F minus, alright, F A B C minus 3 6 C D. This would be transposed to F A B C plus the two's complement of three six C D. So it's basically turning it in to the the computer's negative representation of this number. Because it's up to the user, honestly, it's up to the user to to decide whether this is a positive or a negative number. Do you want well this would always be positive no matter what, but this this one where the first the first digit is above eight or is at eight or above can be viewed as a negative number when we interpret it as signed. Okay? So even if we interpreted this lower thirty six C D if we three six C D uh, we would even if we interpret that as signed it will still come out to be positive. So in signed representation numbers can be uh, positive and then negative as we can see here. So we see that uh, when we think about signed representation it can be all the way up from positive uh, you know from zero which is neither negative or positive all the way up to positive 127 and then negative. So it can be positive in this range or negative if it's in this range. But if it's an unsigned number this would have just been from 0 up to 127 and then it would have been positive 128, positive 129 and it would have kept going all the way up to 255. Unsigned means that it's always positive. Signed means that it can be interpreted as positive or negative and it uh, if it's signed and it starts with a leading one which would be a eight zero if it's eight in the first in the high order bit or in the high order byte or um, half byte or greater than that means you have a, a, a negative number so let's look at the two's complement of a number. How do we take it? How do we find it? Well, all we have to do is get the number that we're going to take the two's complement of, 36CD, and subtract it from FFFF. F, F, F. Well, this will always work, right? You can always subtract something from the highest number that we can represent. Okay? And F minus D, well, D, or E, F, so that's only 2. C, D, E, F, that's 3. And then 6, F, well, it's a 9. And then 3 and F, 
you're going to have a 12, which is a C. So we subtract the 2, and then we add 1. So we're going to get into why we add 1 and why we're subtracting this. But this is how to take the 2's complement. Right, so 2, 1, that's 3, 3, 9. Okay. So this is the 2's complement of this number. So if we do the operation 2's complement, we get this. 